and welcome back to my series of videos on OpenShift. In this video, I'm going to cover three important features of OpenShift, mainly used in debugging purposes and also development purposes. The first one is OCRSH, uh, wherein you can SSH directly into a container right from your development laptop. Right, that's the first feature. And the second feature is OCR sync, uh, wherein you can sync your files to a remote container. So if you want to upload some files uh, when they were, whenever they are changed uh, to a remote container, you can definitely do that using OCR sync. And the other third one is uh, OC port forward, wherever when when you can. Uh, forward the traffic of your container uh, maybe a certain port traffic of your container to a, to your local machine so why is it useful all these three features sometimes you want to do some remote debugging or maybe develop do development and you want to debug your application oc port forward is a pretty good feature for that and also oc r syncs will r sync will help you sync your changes that you may make on your local machine to a remote machine so pretty nice features um, and then uh, let's get started on each of each one of them. So I have a current setup with uh, running, running MySQL instance. Uh, you can see I have a MySQL instance running and uh, if I look at my deployment and environment variables, this is the password for my root password from MySQL instance. Right? So we'll use this MySQL container uh, for, exper for experimenting these three, fe three features. The first one is how do I search into this container? Um, you can click on this container and then click on terminal and you are inside the container now. So you can see the PWD it shows me the container uh, file system. That's from the UI. And how do you do it from the CLI? Right, so declare that. So I'm inside the correct namespace OC project that gives me my namespace dev. Okay. And after that do OC get parts. So I have my SQL container name or pod name with this. So if I want to SSH into this container, do OC RSH and give the container name. That's all. Or the pod name. Okay. Um, so once I do that, I'm inside the uh, MySQL container. And if you do a PWD, you are on root file system just like I've shown in the UI. If I exit out and then do a PWD, I'm on the developer machine. So you can easily SSH into a running container if you have access, okay? That's the first one I want to show. Second thing is, how do you sync your local files into a remote running remote container this is useful for development mainly for the development purposes uh, and let's look at how we do that i'm on the container let's make a simple direct folder just for the experiment purposes i'm going to switch to temp all right i'm going to make a folder called sql so i have a inside the temp i have a sql folder here right so what I want to do is I have a SQL folder here as well, which is not empty. Unlike the other one, it has a schema.sql and data.sql. I want to sync these SQL uh, files to this folder. Okay. So let me switch to this SQL and it's empty. All right. So how do I sync this? OCR sync. Just look at the help here. So OC rsync and the local directory name and the pod directory and the path where you want to sync. You can also do the vice versa as well. Okay, OC rsync give the pod name uh, local directory name that which is dot sql and put a um, backslash here. Don't forget that. And on the remote directory, I want to sync it to slash temp slash SQL folder. Okay, that's all I need. If I want to uh, automatically 
uh, transfer my changes whenever I change the source code I can just put a watch so that it will listen to the uh, changes and then transfer it um, whenever there are changes are made okay so for now I'll remove this you can just do this and you can ignore some small error there alright so it transferred data.sql and schema.sql let's go and take a look if it is really transferred here so you can see data.sql and schema.sql are transferred here okay I can take a look there look at them data.sql so this is what I have in here okay pretty good and the third feature is OC port forward so what port forward does is it will uh, forward the traffic of a specific port on your container or a bunch of ports on your container to a local uh, port number all right so how do i do that let me clear this Let's do oc get parts and you can see this is the mysql container running and the port it which in which uh, the mysql is running is 3306 so i want to forward the 3306 port traffic onto my local machine right so how, how do i do that oc port forward and give the container name and the i port numbers which you want to uh, forward it to your local machine okay so that's all i need so what it does is it says already in use so if you have some port already which is running on the same port it's going to um, cause an error so what I'm going to do is find out what find out like I have a MySQL instance local MySQL instance running that's why this turned out to be an issue let me kill that All right so let me kill this zero kill minus nine Oh. Right, so I have that killed. Right, so I'm gonna do a port forward again, and you should see that it's transferring my 3306 traffic of this container to a local 3306 port. Okay, so how do I test that? My SQL minus u that's root. And the password which you have seen in the beginning that's password and the host give it as 127.0.0.1 right and you see you can connect it to the mysql there right so you can treat this as though it is running on your local machine okay and and you already know i have a folder which is called sql on the current directory i want to import those sql um, so for that let me create a database test All right use test and then so so sql slash schema dot sql Right, I got the I got it created, and the other one is data dot SQL. Okay, so right from a machine, I'm able to run my SQL commands just like it is running on my local machine. This is not just used in my SQL or databases; it also can be used in um, some other development aspects as well. Like let's say you're doing a Node.js application development, you can port forward. The traffic which is the debugging traffic fire it fire it onto your local machine and do a debugging session as well so your application runs on container which is out somewhere in the cloud but you can debug that container from your right from your uh, laptop which is pretty good feature right so i'm exiting from this let me go back here and see if i have data actually i'm this is same thing but I want to make sure I want to show that this actually connected to the container okay my SQL minus u root I don't want to give uh, let me this 
minus p password and minus h right so I'm inside this select star from now let me show you the tables right so I got the table created which is nothing but the schema I have in uh, schema.sql right this is and uh, select star from customer and I'll also have my data right so this is really going inside the uh, container and that shows the three cool features of OpenShift uh, please stay tuned for other videos um, I'll be posting lot other uh, cool features of OpenShift uh, through my video series thank you very much